Welcome to the series, New to eComposer. Today's video will show you how to use global typography and color in the eComposer editor. Before we start, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button for our channel. If you don't have a Shopify account, feel free to click on the link we attached in the description below. The newest Shopify exclusive deal is waiting for you. Global setting feature is made to make it easier for merchants to use predefined styling for elements throughout their stores. Merchants have the option of customizing this predefined styling which will be added to any element you use later on eComposer. With the aid of this feature, merchants can quickly and consistently create pages for their online store that perfectly matches your branding. To start editing global typos and color, you need to visit eComposer's editor. First, I'll go to the Shopify dashboard and open eComposer. At the eComposer app dashboard, I choose Start Building button and select Build Shopify section to start editing my global colors and typos. Note that the construction is just the example I gave you. You can choose to build any other page. The steps to edit global typos and colors are similar. In the lower left corner of the editor, select the setting icon and a pop-up including global settings and app settings appears. In this video, we will focus on understanding the global settings section. Let's look at the global colors. Global color helps you save colors you often use in your store. For example, if I want to use a blue color for my text, I will click here to choose the color. I can use the color picker to choose a color or enter the color code directly here. Also, when I want to set the color of the buttons that I will create later. I just clicked add new color. Renamed it. And changed its color the same way I changed the text color. After you are satisfied with your edit, press the save settings button. You have successfully added the most used colors you want to eComposer editor now. Next I will drag and drop an element so you have an overview, let says the button element onto the edit page. In the design section of this button, select the text color. At this point, you select global and your global colors created earlier will appear. You just need to find the right color you need and you've successfully used global color. Next, we will learn how to use global typos. Similarly to global colors, the global typography allows you to add the typography as a global and use it to the elements of your store. You can edit or add fonts by clicking Add New Typography. This section allows you to upload your own fonts or just select the available Google fonts. You can then edit the weight, transform, style, decoration, line height and spacing to suit your needs. Finally, remember to click Save Settings to finish your editing. Now, I will show you how global typos work. I chose the text element for this example. In the design section, click Typography. As you can see, this section is also divided into Customize and Global. So you do the same thing as Global Color, choose Global and choose the right fonts you need. So, I finished the tutorial on how to use global settings. Note that the use of global typos and color in elements is the same. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel that is the end of today's eComposer element tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the eComposer community to get quick support and the latest updates. I'm putting the details in the description below. S to receive the newest e-commerce page building tips and tricks. See you next time.